think it's very glamorous like you you think it's a lot of fun and stars are wearing my clothes but you don't see me anyway i don't do any of this i don't even know who is going to wear what i'm just sitting with the tailors and here and doing sketching so it's not that glamorous your your small company whatever it is becomes a brand much much later you don't suddenly are born, you're never born with a brand so same way even mine like it's taken its time i think that they think it's really glamorous and very exciting and too much money making and no it's not yeah it's like any other business it's business at the end it's all about numbers and it's all about uh, accounts and it's all about uh, keeping everything in balance exactly that that is not as glamorous as it looks there's a lot of hard work um, i don't get to see the glamorous part of it at all and uh, but yeah once you get recognized and you get appreciated uh, then of course you feel encouraged but till then keep just working hard for what you believe in if you think you're good in this just keep doing it and don't even think about it. every day i tell myself do your best forget the rest don't think about what i'm going to do tomorrow whether i will get it whether that collection will sell if you think about it you'll go crazy just do your best make your best and just forget it just leave it just just if it's meant to happen it will happen and if your intentions are right only good things will happen i've met uh, more than 400 500 women now i only interact with females now right i hear their stories and i hear their um, what how they are how how we all are kind of trying to make our own identity and get better and you know so uh, i think i really get inspired by real life stories of of women who tell me whatever they are facing or how i made new friendships and they really inspire me more than the stars or anything i'm not inspired by anyone like that i'm inspired by real life women who actually are very strong so that helps me to go ahead when i uh, applied for college after 12th i applied for two colleges because it's like a rare thing to get selected in lift there are so many people so uh, i'd applied in two colleges one was um, apj college it was and there i applied for graphic design because i like doing graphics on computer and then i applied for nift and i was pretty sure that i'd become a graphic designer but i would do something creative that's all i knew i i don't know if i would have become a fashion designer i love doing advertisements and creative arts maybe i could have because i was good at sketching right so i could have even got into advertisements i loved styling i wanted to get into magazines no but so or maybe i won't have got in the, become a fashion designer yeah so many so nift uh, exposes you to so many things so once uh, Uh, there was this big show on Star World. I don't know if you guys remember, but it was by N- Nafisa Joseph, and uh, she used to come to co- uh, like she used to find like it was a surprise makeover. So she would go and just say like, "Oh, you're 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 on Star TV, and we're gonna shoot you for a makeover." So all my friends had planned that for me. So suddenly one day I go to college, and there are twenty cameras, Star TV, and Nafisa Joseph. Oh, surprise! We've chosen you for a makeover, and then they took me to some designer. and made me this hip and happening girl which i'm not <laughs> so it was a very embarrassing and funny day yeah and then once uh, we had to do these auditions for mtv there was a show called bombay dam where you uh, had to represent your college so there were different colleges and they were all compete to do really funny games so it was shot by nikhil chinappa he was he was the host that time so we auditioned for it and uh, the first task among our, these colleges was that you have to eat worms and then i made my vegetarian friend eat worms <laughs> because i refused to eat it so till today i think he he i found it really funny he must not have found it funny <laughs> when i i did a very funny thing telling a personal experience when i uh, when i was still in college i just called up my mom and i told her I was in Delhi and I called her up and I said ki I want to just do something of my own can I please can I just buy clothes from Sarojini Nagar and put it in Nagpur nobody seen it and I want to uh, sell it she said yeah yeah of course you should do it I'll help you so I, she gave me 10000 rupees I bought lots of horrible clothes and whatever I could from Sarojini Nagar got it to Nagpur call my friends so if I bought something for 250 I sold it at 250 I was just so happy it's selling and I'm doing something of my own it's it's not about the money if you're starting something you love you can't think about the money you love others only think about the money of course it's important but i can really vouch for the fact that if i've gotten wherever you think that you think i'm successful it's because i never thought about it in an industry like mine 
if I think about money more than the customer or my relationship with someone, then I will lose out more than I will gain for sure. In a bigger city, probably it is easier. Yeah, definitely. People are more exposed also to trends and they know what's in. They're ready to also spend a little more. Plus, they know what is latest fashion. But my main thing from the time I started is that I've always been supplying it outside to Bombay, Delhi. So um, it's not like I've only focused on Nagpur. So yeah, but I've studied the clientele. It's probably easier to sell outside than to sell it here, at least right now. My favorite color is blue. I like blue and I like white. 